Bollywood to Hollywood with Rao Rampilla. This may look strange to you. Never in a show, a interviewer or a host becomes an interviewee. So I, I'm going to become an interviewee and Arthur French is going to interview me because he was my teacher. Well, here I go. Uh, from Bollywood to Harlem to Hollywood <laughs> back again. <laughs> I was talking with you before the show started, uh -huh. and as I was talking to Rao, as I call him, uh, he started telling me about himself, and I thought he was so fascinating. I said, well, I would like to know more about you. I realized in my early ages, there is nothing impossible. And uh, all I have to do is I have to believe strongly. If I believe in something strongly, it will happen. And it happened with this international lawyer thing. And then it's uh, after, for you to answer your question straight, after 9-11, accidentally, I was put into a Super Bowl commercial with the Kevin Bacon. Uh, and I didn't know what is a commercial, Super Bowl commercial, what is a uh, audition, what, it just happened accidentally and I was broke. And I realized all my life, I was going against the stream. And for the first time, something fell into my lap. And I thought, well, I take, like the Americans say, I take the ball and run Good. and see where it takes me. And then more I'm running with it, this, with the acting, and I'm finding more things. Uh, some are painful, some are not so lucrative, but I started writing my play. Yes, I. I, the issue that was uh, because they wouldn't put me in major movies because of my accent. So I said, okay, now I have to take charge. Uh -huh. So uh, I have to do, uh, produce things. So in order to produce, I need to write. So and what do I want to write? I thought, what is the biggest issue at the most uh, uh, most important issue I think it is. So in my life about this struggle I went through, so I thought that's what I want to write, so I wrote about it. That's the play I yes. brought to the class. I wrote very well about it. Very oh, thank moving. you. And now it is going to be read in a, a medicine show theater on 52nd Street. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Uh, so in that uh, writing class I learned well, the teacher says there are 84 keys in piano. So if I have 84 keys in my life, <laughs> if I'm only one, playing only one key of lawyer, so I'm not fully utilizing or enjoying my life or, or playing all my piano. Okay. So I'm playing the second key now, the acting, a third key, writing, and a fourth key, producing. And I also found I could do things which I couldn't do as a lawyer, lawyer as a civil servant. Such as? Well, you can involve in certain advocate politically if you are working for international civil service at the United Nations. Uh -huh. So now I can bring some of these issues, put it on the stage or put it on the screen uh, and uh, show it to the people. So I have the other side now bring, coming back. But you still, it's still part of what you did as a young person, yes. in your poetry and everything else. I just have one thing to say. There are 88 keys on most of <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I, okay. I, guess, I, say, I guess that's what makes the difference between <laughs> the teacher and the student, right? <laughs> I just want you to play all the keys yeah, as so you've I been have, doing. I 